In one of our last videos, we have been talking about discoloration levels and colors. But what can you do to keep it in certain boundaries? I know five methods. What about you? So, what are the five different methods I've been talking about? The first one is certainly the heat itself. The heat composition of your stainless steel tubing system, your alloy, whatever. And the cleaner it is, the better it is, and the less um, discoloration you will figure. Second thing uh, would be the formation gas quality. Depending on what kind of gas you're using, uh, depending also on the infrastructure you're using, on the caps you're using, you will have either a higher oxygen level within your formation gas or a lower content. And that certainly matters a lot regarding discoloration levels. Third would be the quantity of your formation gas. So if you consider a high flow of formation gas, you will certainly have a higher impact of the gas itself and a less of the periphery in there. And if your formation gas is well, then you would again figure lower discoloration levels. Fourth would be the energy level you're using. So if you use high energy, let's say you're using continuous welding mode and not step mode, the energy impact of the arc will be certainly higher. That will create a wider weld bead and probably as well a higher energy impact and a higher discoloration as well. The fifth impact is a little bit a different one because it's referring to hydrogen. So what is happening when you're adding hydrogen to your formation gas? You can buy that commercially as for example Ferromix that is a standardized uh, formation gas containing hydrogen. But what is the hydrogen actually doing in there? So there are two aspects I would like to draw your attention to. The first one is that you build your arc in a lot better way and in a lot easier way than without hydrogen. So what is the hydrogen doing is it's promoting really the electrons going through the atmosphere in your welding chamber and hitting your uh, metal target in order to do the weld. So that makes it easier. So let's say with a given energy and without hydrogen, you get a certain bead width. When you would now add hydrogen into that, you would increase the bead width. So what you can do is basically you can crank down the energy, reduce your bead width again, and also have due to that lower energy probably lower discoloration level as well. So that's one thing which is related to hydrogen. On the other side, what is happening with the hydrogen itself in uh, the electron beam or in, um, in the plasma you're creating? First, hydrogen is the fastest gas we are considering on Earth because it's the lightest gas. And when you take a look at what's happening when you even split it and when you make a plasma out of the hydrogen, then you will figure that this hydrogen gas or this hydrogen plasma is getting pretty aggressive towards everything which is around that in this, let's say, reaction chamber or welding chamber. And what it's doing, what hydrogen likes to do, as we all know, it likes to make water. Yeah? Water is a very stable element and um, to, to split up water is very difficult. So hydrogen really likes oxygen. And that's what we do here. So all the oxygen which is in your, in your welding chamber will not, probably not consumed completely, but a lot of it will be consumed and will react with uh, the hydrogen towards water. And that's the great thing about it. Um, so when you take a look at these pictures here, you will figure that when you have a given 
discoloration level at a different at a given oxygen concentration, you will be more or less able to double that oxygen concentration and achieving the same discoloration level when adding a certain amount of hydrogen into that. And that's actually the two great things that, um, yeah, that, that hydrogen is responsible for uh, when it comes to welding. I hope I could give you a little bit into insight into the different factors for discoloration and especially on hydrogen here. And if you have certain questions regarding this topic, please don't hesitate to contact us, uh, to chat, to uh, email, whatever. So far, so good. Stay tuned and stay healthy.